Hi guys, I want to talk to you about uh, sensation seeking and its associated dangers. Um, as you all know, I mean, I love this brand. I really understand my threshold. I know I'm a sensory seeker. I know how my body works, how my brain works, what I need, what I don't need. When I get frustrated, when don't I get frustrated? But I was really confronted with kind of a bit of a scary part of being a sensation seeker this weekend. On Friday night, um, I actually used my pressure cooker and I cooked some soup. And what I did, yes, I ended up with a burn on my hand and on my foot because I actually opened the pressure cooker before all the steam was released. So there was this tiny part of me, I mean, I was totally stupid, but there was this tiny part of me, I wasn't thinking, I wasn't looking, I wasn't attending, I was in a hurry, I wanted to get it done quickly. And before I have opened up my pressure cooker when it's not fully released, don't do that. Uh, but obviously the pot this time was very full and it literally exploded and burned me. Um, and obviously, you know, I was so irritated with myself and kind of mad at myself because firstly, it's a very nuisance. And it's secondly, could have been way worse. Thankfully, I'm OK. But it was another realization for me of how unconscious and primitive these drivers of our behaviors are and how they do influence a lot of our subconscious decision making and actions that we do. If it was an avoider or what we call our century root of the century tree, they possibly never would have done that. They would have been more careful, more cautious, uh, checked it before um, they open it and their level of caution is just so much more different. So just a reminder for all those seekers out, out there, the ones with high threshold, be careful in your kitchen, uh, you stop at those red lights and make sure that you take care of yourself. This is all for now folks, take care, cheers.